Hey guys, what is up? It's your pal Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. We've got another guitar from one of my favorite guitarists of all time. If you know me, you already know who we're talking about. Uh, yeah, Dimebag Daryl, the man, from Pantera, my all-time favorite band. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join over 2,000 friends you didn't even know you already have. And we're going to look at some really cool guitars that have been made over the years that we get from all over the world each and every day here at the studio. We're going to show them to you up close as if you were holding them in person so you know exactly what the fit and finish is like. If you want to buy any of these guitars, they're all for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. And on Reverb.com, our good friends, they host our website. So yeah, this is, uh, the I think the technical name is the Razorback V255. It is the Korean model, the top model they make outside of the U.S. factory. Great spec, it's got the Zach Wild EMG 81 and 85 pickups. With the battery access cover on the back. License Floyd, Ro uh, License Floyd Rose Tremolo, the bar is in the storage compartment. You've got the speed knob, that's a dime bag signature thing here, where they would take like a soldering iron and melt these holes to give better grip, and it gives way better grip. I think like every knob should have that. It's a really cool V, so you have this little cutaway here, kind of like this barbed effect. Looks like something you'd go spearfishing with. It's awesome. And then, of course, the kind of bat wing style headstock. The thing's awesome. You have the traditional razor back or uh, razor blade inlay at the 12th fret. And I'm trying to remember the name of this finish. I think they call it Dime O Flame or Flame O Flage. It's something like that. Uh, let's get in focus there. There we go. But it looks killer. If you want to stand out on stage, this is uh, going to get the job done. For sure. We'll go ahead and spin it around on the back here. Lay it down. And you see this thing's barely been played, guys. It still has the plastic on the back cover here. Look at that. How nuts is that? Battery cover for the 9-volt uh, battery. Not even like a single scratch I can see on this tremolo cover. Is that a hair? Oh, little thing right there. Big deal. The uh, locking straps, strap buttons were removed by the previous owner. He needed them for his uh, other guitar. A little bit of my fingerprints there. Sorry about that. And then here we see the serial number, Korea, US. I think that's Unsung is the name of the factory. And with Korean serial numbers, the first letter digits are uh, typically the factory code. The next two are the years, so 08, so it should be a 2008 model that Grover tuners on it. And I mean, I don't see any chips on these edges, guys. Looks really, really good. Um, if you see the pictures in the listing, looks fantastic. Cool. But uh, yeah, great. I don't know if, the, if it's neck through. I think it's a neck through construction on this. I'm not quite sure. I've never seen them sanded down. Looks and feels like neck through. And then you've got the volute here. Uh, just a very well built instrument. Huge case. Awesome uh, hard case that comes with these things. Put it away and I'll show you the case here. And we love these things. I mean, I think I've got one just hanging up here on the wall in the studio. Just right there. We've got one with the green bevels and the dime bucker from Seymour Duncan. That one's for sale too, if you want it. But yeah, guys, thought you'd get a kick out of this. We have an ML that just came in the studio. Dean ML, kind of the more traditional dime bag style guitar that we knew him to play from Washburn throughout the 90s. Uh, we've got that in the same exact finish. So be on the lookout on the studio uh, YouTube channel for that and on our website and on our Reverb store. Cool, guys. There's a case. Massive. Nice, good, solid handle there. You got four latches. 
And I think that about wraps it all up. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment or hit me up on Facebook. Just go to the Essex Recording Studios page. Give us a like while you're at it. Appreciate that. And we're on the Instagram and on the Twitter as well. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm doing a ton of videos today because I just got back from Denmark. And I've been uh, drinking too many beers, hanging out, having way too much fun. It's time to get back to work. All right. I'm out of here. Stick around on the channel. More guitar videos coming up right after this.